Hello and welcome back to Caves of Cut. It's a new day, new record session. That means I've forgotten everything. New everything, forgot everything. So, um, but you know, I've got my coffee. Let's play some Caves of Cud. Uh, I am inspired. I doubt I have the means to make what I need. Hey, didn't I get a bunch of tonics? I was gonna check this. <clears throat> didn't I get a bunch of tonics? I did. So I have the option of taking an Eater's Nectar Injector or cooking with it. I think we should cook with it, but I'm inspired right now. So what I want to do is uh, we don't have any mushrooms, do we? We have freeze-dried horse rooms, which are more annoying to deal with. And we're less likely to get what we want, but I'd rather cook now than like not cook because we don't have the, the right ingredients. So let's go ahead and try it. Eat the meal. Uh, whenever you eat a mushroom, you beguile a creature as per beguiling. And we got the good recipe with the more common mushroom. I find that pickled mushrooms are actually very difficult to find. But uh, freeze-dried horse rooms are, you know, easier. So this is a great one. Um... Let me see, do you have any anything? Uh, I may as well put this beguiling to good use. Could I just go ahead and rob you blind? Sorry to do that, but you do have some stuff. All right, let's let's eat. I have a funny feeling this is going to get me killed. Dromads have a fairly high willpower, don't they? Um All right, I won't do that, in fact. And I'd rather cook with something else anyway. So we got our meal. That's the good part. I'm going to take cycle gland paste. And, oh, well, actually what we need to do is preserve some of our exotics. We'll preserve a eater's nectar injector. And a hulk honey. I don't hold out much hope that the eater's nectar will do anything for us. Um, it would be nice. But I really don't think it'll it will. It's a it's such a it's a very low chance of happening. What is it now? I think it's twelve percent chance or something. I think it's it's a twelve percent chance. I uh, might be wrong about that. Mm, actually, I think it's twenty five. It's twelve percent chance on the neutron flux, or ten percent chance. It's it's like twenty five percent chance on the nectar. Here we go. Hey, there we go. Plus one to all six attributes permanently and reveals a secret to you. What did we get? You note the location of Baba, Goat Folk Village, in the locations settlement section of your journal. Worthless. But hey. Hey, we got plus one to all of our attributes. That's really nice. I'm very happy about that. Um, that means intelligence as well, which means we got some skill points. We have more mutation points. I'm not sure what I want to spend. I think, I think because I got a mental mutation from my last one, I kind of want to save another mutation point and throw them into something else. I could throw them on Stinger. Um, but then, you know, like I, at 25, we'll get another rapid advancement. What's her, our current pen is like nine with 1d8 damage. It's already pretty good. Like, it's pretty late game already. Um, I think this is, like, not quite, but a little bit on par with a Flawless Crystal, or just Crystal. And then, there, of course, there is the Poison. Um, but still, it, it might be nice to upgrade it a couple times. We could always take another mutation later. Honestly, throwing another couple points into multiple legs wouldn't be a bad idea either. Even though we have plus 100 move speed, doesn't mean we can't be faster. So what I'll do is I'll put one point into multiple legs, and then I'm going to put a couple of points into Stinger. And that'll give us get us to 10 pen, and I'm going to leave that alone for quite a long time now. And um, I'll start saving up. The next four levels, uh, I, will, I will save up for another mutation. Um, are we at the bottom of... Yeah, we're at the bottom of the, of the salt desert. It looks to me like I have not fully explored this lane. I think I got, like, sidetracked, maybe? A uh, good way of checking this, of course, is it's already nighttime, so I, I can tell I haven't explored this lane. 
but I have explored this lane. So I'm going to explore. I think, I think I started to make moves to basically, um, do these two lanes. Yeah, we're going to do the whole desert and I'm not going to be afraid of that. I know that some people are like, yeah, that's cool. And then some people are like, uh, I, you know, not saying anything because, uh, you know, not everyone feels obligated to comment and I, you know, far be it for me to, uh, you know, pressure you to, but it would be nice. I always read the comments, even if I don't always re reply to them. You swell with inspiration to cook a mouthwatering meal. I don't know what we need next. I guess if I was going to choose something, I wouldn't mind having star apple jam and freeze dried horseshoe so we can get our, our very easy peasy cure ourselves of everything. Um, none of those. When you can use ice breath, you heal more naturally. And uh, whenever you take damage, is it eight to pretend per? Uh, Eight to ten percent chance you gain cold resist. That's worthless. I, I was gonna say it would have been kind of nice if this was like you blast some freeze breath at like level six to eight or whatever. But whatever. We've got breathe ice. I actually didn't. I didn't realize that breathe ice was a as an option. I didn't think that that was something you could have. What's the icon on that? Where is breathe ice? Oh, it's it doesn't have an icon yet. Not yet implemented. That's okay. Not everything has an icon just yet. That was interesting. What? That seemed a little weird. But that's fine. Okay. Um Okay, are we on the left side or the right side? I've already got I think we were on the this is our left tile. I think that is correct. Rusty Batara. Rusty. Oh, is there a salt bog or a rust bog nearby? Um, we got more Isakari. I guess it would be worth killing some Isakari. I know that sucks because they like me. But we're still, we're less than level five, uh, 15 right now. And that means they're still worth 100 each. Once I hit level five, uh, why do I keep saying five? Once I hit level 15, then um, it won't be worth killing Isakari anymore, which suits me fine. I actually like the Isakari, even when I'm like on bad terms with them. I think they're one of my favorite quotation marks monsters or enemies in the game. I don't know what it is about them. They're just really cool. I love the idea of salt nomads, you know, they're just kind of hanging out in the desert chillin well not chillin more like vibin i don't know okay that guy is fine nice thing about uh, uh fighting isakari when you're like not on bad terms with them is they seem very placid about you just killing your their friends that guy's immediately dead like uh, uh the range for them to become aggressive is really low uh, nice, also nice thing about the sniper rifle, this is specifically on the sniper rifle, is, um, you, you only, you only kill on a, on a hit. So, like, you, if you miss a couple times, whatever, and then your first hit is a kill. Oh, you dropped a grenade, huh? Oh, that was a poison gas grenade. I might want to take poison immunity. I'm also, I am going to start, um, killing Dawn Gliders, but since I do have a sniper rifle, I would, I think before I do that, I would want to take, um, proficiency because like the sniper rifle is nice. It's not a scope sniper rifle, but it is a sniper rifle. Um, but it's still less accurate and it, it, it can be a pain in the butt. Okay, I'm not taking on four Dawn Gliders. You swell with the inspiration to cook a mouth-watering meal. Okay, well, well, once again... Oh, we're actually full. We can't eat any more food. That's fine. We have more Isakari here. Oh, interesting. That guy recognized that my act was aggressive and uh, started blasting. So they started blasting, you know. 
grabbing all the daggers. You know, it's just really good. It's just really good money. Treat. It's to carry rifles with scrap. Disassemble. I might... I'm going to switch to highlight mode very soon because I recognize that we're doing the whole fighting Isakari thing. It's probably not very interesting. Uh, and I've gotten into a swing of things with the editing. It's not not too bad once I leave... If I leave a long gap... When I leave a, sh leave a short gap, it gets a little bit trickier. And I don't want to use my program to like... I know none of this is very fascinating, but I don't want to use my program for auto-editing. Because I don't want to edit out all silence. Some silence is good, actually. But lucky for me, when I'm doing my own dialogue, I don't leave very much silence. Because I've got a lot to say. Not, not all of it valuable. But you know, you know how it goes. But, you know, all of it is, uh, you know, d dialogue. <laughs> you know, it is all dialogue. All right, let's go into highlight mode. Ah, well, we've got some more, um, horse rooms. Those are nice. And we have a mysterious stranger. Oh, no, I'm a cannabis. Hated by highly entropic beings. Oh, I actually really like being on good terms with highly entropic beings. They're, like, far more worth it now. Um, oh, that's such a bummer. And dislike by Chava is not great either. I will see, uh, do you have... Any, yeah, you've got a lot of tubes. How come I don't know what any of those tubes are? I I have like all of the tubes. How come I don't know what those are? Um, I think what I'd like to do is um, test out our meal on this guy. I should also make this a, uh, yeah, um, favorite. Add to favorite recipes, cook. All right, so then we're going to go over here and we're going to go now. Uh, I, sh I might have covered this in my cooking and gathering or I should have anyway. But um, if you ever cook a meal with um, mushrooms, you know, quotations, whenever you eat a mushroom, you don't actually have to eat the full mushroom. You can just eat the ingredient counts. There we go. They are uh, beloved to me. Give me all of your things. I want them. I want your things. They're mine now. This is mine. This is mine. This is mine. This is where I make potato knishes. A deep cut for some. Uh, a WTF from others. Beguiled. Direct to stay there. I'm taking your things and I'm running away and I'm never coming back. <laughs> uh, okay. So what do we get? I'm pretty sure we must have gotten another Eater's Nectar. There's no way. Uh, artifacts. No, I don't think we did. Because we, I guess we would have recognized a Eater's Nectar. We got an Uber Nostrum. Sphinx Salt Injector. Oh, we did get another Eater's Nectar. What the heck is going on? I feel like uh, there might be a little bit of a, a bug. A little bit, a little bit of, of a bug. Um, let's put on... <clears throat> I guess I, I don't know why my, my telemetric visor is unequipped. But let's put that on. And... Let's... Well, I'll keep... I'll keep my beguiling food for now just on the off chance i can make use of it before it runs out uh, i'm not gonna bother with isakari because i want to ooh, well there's only two eh. Eh. highlight mode Ooh, dromad caravan you got full right flake mail full right plate mail some pretty nice stuff. Uh, floating glow sphere, laser pistol. You're like a higher than base tier dromad. Got a chem cell. I'll buy your lead slugs. But outside of that, I don't think I want anything else. The flexi vest is kind of tempting, I will say. 
I do like a flexi vest, and it would put our DV at like quite high because we've gained three DV. But we need to make up some AV right now. Like I'm not, I'm not okay for AV. I'm at five. Seriously, not okay. Um, so I, I guess I made the decision. Oh, we got a bark biter. We could make friends with this bark biter. Loved by bears, hated by the villagers of Shemrod, hated by the villagers of Narkashur. Shemrod seems to be hated by a lot of people. I think I'm okay. Are we already on bad terms with um, villagers of Sh Shemrod? No. I might be thinking of another Sh. I would like to be on better terms. Hated, I think, would put it as, at negative 100 or 200. We are not on good terms with bears, but, you know, that's fine. We could be, though. Um, I could stand to lose a little bit of rep. You know, I could always beguile, uh, if I ever find the villagers of Shemrod and Narkashur, I could always beguile, uh, their mayor and then, like, break bread with them and like, hey, listen, you have to understand that I, I did it, it you know, to make friends with bears. Honey loving bark biter. Now they are pretty tough, so we have to really hope that we get we get this off. We get this beguile. I'm gonna try and aggro kite some of their friends over. Hey, listen, buddy. Why are you why are you walk why are you running? Alright, you're dead. Okay, I want to fight just the regular bears first. Why do... I wonder why bears... Oh. I wonder why bears always have dread tubers hanging out. Okay, this is... Ow. This is fine. Um, Eat a freeze-dried mushroom. Uh-oh. Your cockatrice infuriates Boba. Can we just do another one? Can we just eat another? Yeah. D it still didn't work, but hey, we can we can still do another one. There we go. So you can try multiple times. All right, your thirst is mine. We're on better terms with bears. We only lose a hundred with those villagers. That's fine. We don't have any secrets to share with them. That kind of sucks. Do you have any? Oh, you have some cider. You have some honey, but I'm already going to steal your honey. I don't really want any more honey. Direct to stay there. Well, we're friends. Okay, we made friends with bears. We're not uh, on friendly terms with them, but, you know, we're getting there. You got to start somewhere, you know? Was that just one? Oh, just one down glider. I wonder why they didn't to uh, try and toast me. Oh, that bug might still be a thing from Narf's game that ma makes it so that if you're like standing near the edge, you don't get toasted by dawn gliders or ranged attacked. I might be misremembering that. Is that a good one? Oh yeah, trying to Reshef. We didn't know that Reshef lore. Be bad. I think this is gonna be be good, honestly. Chrome revolver. Treat these as scrap. Disassemble. Do 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 do. Wow, that was a not very exciting ruin. We've got two dawn gliders here. Wow, hit on our first shot. Nice. I wonder if there's a difficulty, like, dice roll. Like, the difficulty for um, hitting something it becomes higher when you, uh, the farther away from something you are. I'm sure someone's going to let me know what the case is there. Um... Let's uh, preserve all of our luminous horse rooms 
and our Eater's Nectar Injector. And I am good with... Uh, let's do one of our Skulks as well. And then, um, do we need any new meals? Choose ingredients. I, I guess we still need um, mushrooms and star apple for that easy peasy. Whenever you... Nope, none of those. This one's nice, though. Whenever you use a Salver Uber Nostrum Injector, you emit a ray of frost per freezing hands. That's actually quite nice. <laughs> whenever you deal cold damage, there's a 25% chance one of your negative status effects is removed at random. That's kind of interesting, actually. No, that, cen uh, that center one is, like, actually usable. And now we, uh, it's kind of a shame we got Trash Divining so late. I guess, um... Something you... I forget. Who was it? I think it's, um... It's Kakuka that teaches you cooking and gathering, but I'm not sure if there's a village that will teach you trash divining. But it's kind of a shame I learned trash divining so late in the game because there were a lot of tiles that had some very valuable trash. This is a lot of effort for, like, literally physical effort from me to, uh, kill dong gliders. But, you know, worth it for that 375 XP. It does make up quite, uh, the bulk of our XP. Oh, this is gonna be a pain. We gotta manually walk. Ooh, Barathermite. I think that's a Brathermite. Yeah, it looks like one. Hello, friend. Disliked by the villagers of Kenanil. Kenalil. Disliked by urchins. Hated by flowers. That kind of sucks. But I'm cool with this. Have a dram of oil. We're on good terms with Brathermites. Lose a little bit of rep. Despised by urchins. Cool. That's fine. You'll teach me how to make porridge. Would you teach me to craft geomagnetic discs? That's an interesting one. Um, it could cost me 100 reputation to take all of this stuff, or I could just buy it. Counterweighted is re uh, worthless to me. Refractive is kind of nice, actually. It has a chance to reflect. Sorry, refract light base attack. So, yeah, that's not reflect. Um, that's what I thought, and then uh, Narf corrected me on that one, said no. It just means refract, so you have a chance to basically bounce away uh, lasers, but never you don't have a chance to... Like, you have a very small chance of bouncing back. Um, I like some of these and not others. I like some of these bits. Those are quite nice, and those are quite nice, but it's kind of expensive. But is it worth this rather than... Um, well, I guess we could get rid of our extra junk here. Is, is, would you put a price, like, how, what, what kind of price would you put on friends, friendship, you know? Like, uh, the amount of, that I would have to give up in order to get 300, uh, I'm just not going to do this. Some of those are really nice. I guess stasis, stasis Grenade Mark 1 is a nice one. But we don't really need it. We've got that move speed. Still could be good, I suppose. Alright, we'll do this. Um, I think we have Freeze Grenades. But it's a Mark 3. I'm not a huge fan of Mark 3s. I guess we'll do it. But I don't know what else I'm trading. At this point. Um... I guess we could trade some Dawn Glider Tail. We don't have a lot of Dawn Glider Tail. I'm only recently in the Dawn Glider hunting business. We could start using a, our, like a drum loaded carbine. That's probably more efficient at killing Dawn Gliders, to be honest. Here, we'll sell this silver nugget. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. 
Um, sucks that there's exactly one amoeba. I am going to switch to the drum loaded carbine. The sniper rifle is nice. But like, it misses just as often in a way. Yeah, there we go. Collect all the secrets. Wait through the nighttime with our new Barathermite friends. Oh, there's some star apple there too. Is that oil? No, it's honey. I think we're out of oil. I think that was our last dram of oil. So I'll have to be on the, on the hunt for more of that. We got one dong glider. Let's test our theory if the carbine is better. I kind of don't think it is. Uh, in fact, I'm going to switch over to the sniper rifle. So, I, I don't know. If we were um, proficient with the uh, rifles, it'd be kind of a different story, I think. Oof, that's a lot of Don gliders. You discover Duna Nip. Uh, okay, we've got Dervish of the Sightless Way. I don't know. Oh. Okay, there's a really dangerous creature here. I'm hoping that I defrost before I actually see it. Uh, I'm going to take a, a blaze injector. Oh, I don't have one. Can we take a salve injector? I better not die like this. I swear to God. Um, tell you what, let's throw down a hologram. Ibes no longer. So we're, we're basically taking damage from a... Some kind of legendary dervish, I think. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take another salve, even though we're not, we're fine right now. And I'm gonna hope that we don't take another hit. I, oh, please stop that. <laughs> please. I can't, I can't get unfrozen right now. Can we do our own force bubble? Okay, I'm gonna take another salve. I don't know what to do in this situation. I don't have a blaze injector. Um, uh, let's think. The problem is that they can attack me right now and I can't move because they keep freezing me and the more they freeze me, the more damage I'm gonna take. I wonder if Uber Nostrum gives us any kind of resistances. At the end of the 10th round, you are purged of all short-term biological debuffs. Uh, Uber Nostrum might be an idea. Bio but is Frozen a biological debuff? <sighs> the fact that I can't see them is really annoying. Let's, um, let's deactivate the hologram and activate them again closer and hope that they divert their attention even once to the, uh, to the hologram. If they freeze me one more time, I'm probably going to die. The fact that I don't have a free blaze injector, it's the only tonic I don't have is a blaze inject injector. I have every single other tonic outside of like Eater's Nectar. But like, I, what am I, what am I supposed to do right now? What do, what do, uh, what do rubber gum do? Oh, cold resistance. Rubber gum actually gives us cold resistance. 
but less AV. Uh, we're not under the effects right now. So actually rubber gum, let's try it. Oh. Um, well, we are under the effects of the rubber gum, but something is going to happen that's not good. But I think we are uh, shedding our, our cold a little bit quicker. Nope, they're still freezing us. God, that's frustrating. Come on. Like, what what am I supposed to do in this situation? I I am too I'm still too frozen to do anything about this. Wonder if there's a skill we could take that would give us some resistance. Endurance, maybe. Um shake the effect. No. Take less damage from poison. I don't think that there is. Maybe psychic? Or not, sorry, physic. You can treat bleeding, poison, illness, and disease onset for you and your companions at campfire. That's interesting. It does kind of uh, make that recipe less necessary. Self-discipline. We're not dead yet, but we're getting there. <laughs> we're still under the effects of the of the um, rubber gun. I wonder, do we have any armor we could put on? These are the same. I don't think I can get out of this. I think I'm screwed. Heat resistance. Um... I don't think I can recoil. Like, oh, cool. They're all unpowered. Why is that? Like, I have a bubble around me. I should be able to recoil, but I don't know if I can recoil when I'm frozen. Can I replace the cell? I really wish it would stop accidentally waiting. Um, replace. Oh, wow. Okay, let's see, can I pull a, well, the hologram isn't actually doing anything for me right now. Can I remove that cell? Nope, can't remove the solar cell if I'm frozen. Well, that's, that's game. I don't think there's anything I can do. That's really frustrating. That is possibly the most frustrating way I will die in this game. Because I can't see them. I have a hologram right next to me, and they are refusing to acknowledge it. I could try again. If I could put, like, even if I put it, like, right next to me, if they just would center their next freeze attack on my hologram and not me, it would, like, potentially save my life. Because if I could just even walk away once, it would be good. It would be great. But the fact that they have force bubbled me, they I can't see them, and they're freezing me, and I don't have a blaze injector, and I don't have any other means, it really sucks. The only other thing I could possibly do is maybe when my rubber gum tonic wears off, I could try putting on a skulk. Also, they their cooldown is ridiculous, by the way. Just putting that out there. That rubber gum and uh, tonic lasts a long time. 430. Still frozen solid. 390. Gotta wait. Can't really do anything. 300. We're getting kind of low. We're getting fairly low on our temperature. Or high. Higher. Warming up. Please. Please just let me walk away. Please. Something's happened. Still frozen solid at 160. Still frozen solid at 135. Okay, run away. You're not knocked prone. Why am I knocked prone? Can we leave? 
Oh my god, I cannot believe your skin flattens out and stretches tautly around your body once again. Holy crap. That is the closest... I mean, I, I've had close deaths in this game, but that was ridiculous. I know, oh god. That was really something. There are hostels nearby. Oh yeah, Dawn Gliders. Oh yeah, and then we're gonna get toasted. Oh yeah, no, hilarious game. Honestly, getting frozen solid in the middle of the desert is already pretty hilarious. Love that. Swell with the inspiration of cook a mouthwatering meal. I mean, I sure hope so. I almost died just now. That, that, uh, I'm, I'm going to be reeling from that for a while. Uh, I had some more cold resist. I don't know. I, I guess I'm inspired. I should cook with this drop of nectar, even if I, I like, uh, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's cook with some cider, some whole kind of, you know what? This, this calls for a, a celebration. Let's take Spicer. And we're going to do Cider, Hulk Honey, and Skulk. The fact that I survived that, really cool. Quickness, Strength, and DV. That's nice. It's not the dream, because we wanted plus four agility, but it's very, very close to the dream. That's actually a really decent meal. Um, love that. Okay, well, uh, I'm going to call it here. Good lord. Uh, if you are enjoying this series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more of this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.